Sophia the First, the Royal Slumber Party. Sophia and Amber are having a royal sleepover tonight. This is where we'll be sleeping, Amber says. The observatory. We get to sleep under the stars, Sophia cries. It's a royal slumber party, Amber says. Everything has to be amazing. Sophia's two best friends, Ruby and Jade, are coming. Amber is shocked. You invited village girls? You're a princess now. You should only invite princesses to the royal parties. But Ruby and Jade are fun, Sophia assures Amber. You'll see. The royal herd trumpet sounds. They're here, Sophia cries. Amber's friends, Princess Hildegard and Princess Cleo, stepped out of their coaches. Behind them are Jade and Ruby in an ox cart. I can't believe we're here, Jade exclaims, hugging Sophia. We're so excited, Ruby adds. It's time for the party to start. The princesses change into their fancy gowns. Ruby and Jade giggle as they roll their hair in pine cold curlers, just like at home. We're at a royal sleepover, they chant, pulling Sophia up to join their silly dance. The other princesses stare at Ruby and Jade. What are they wearing? Hildegard says. What are they doing? Cleo wonders. Amber frowns. Are those pine cones? Ruby hears her and dances over. Want one? We brought extra. Amber marches over to Sophia. Sophia! Pine cones are not part of a perfect princess slumber party. Sophia's worried. She wants her new sister and her old friends to like each other. They could fit in, she says. They just need a little help. Sophia had a great idea. How would you two like a royal makeover? She asks her friends. Ruby and Jade squeal with excitement. Ballywick and Sophia's woodland friends help out. They fix the girls' hairs and dresses them in pretty gowns and tiaras. Sophia makes her friends cover their eyes. Then she leads them to a mirror. Open your eyes, she says. Jade and Ruby gasp when they see themselves. I'm a princess, Ruby exclaims. Me too, called Jade. Next, it's time for party activities. First comes fan decorating. Ruby and Jade have fun, but their fans don't look very princessy. The girls play a game of pin the tail on the unicorn. Ooh, ooh, Jade says, can I go first? But Jade ends up nowhere near the unicorn. After that, the girls watch Cedric the Royal Sorcerer put on a magic puppet show in the banquet hall. During the show, James, Sophia's brother, walks in with a message for the girls. Prince James, Jade, and Ruby squealed, rushing towards them. They're thrilled to see the friendly prince. Jade and Ruby are so excited they accidentally knock over the chocolate milk fountain. Oops! Chocolate milk splashes onto Amber's nightgown. She is furious. We're so sorry, Ruby says to Amber. So sorry, Jade adds. Amber walks off in a huff while Sophia shakes her head sadly. Bailiwick hurries Jade and Ruby away to get cleaned up. 
Then James tells the girls it's time for dancing in the throne room. Let's go, Amber says. Maybe we can enjoy five minutes of our party without Sophia's friends making a mess. Now Sophia's even more worried. She goes off to find her friends. I want you both to fit in with the princesses, Sophia explains. We look just like them now, don't we, Jade says. Yes, Sophia says, but princesses don't talk so much or laugh so loud or make so many messes. Jade frowns. We were just having fun. We're sorry, Ruby adds quickly. We'll try to act more like Amber and the other princesses. Thank you. Sophia is relieved. Now she's sure everyone will get along. Sophia and her friends join the others in the throne room, but Ruby and Jade don't know how to waltz. All they do is stand there and watch the princesses dance. After a while, they tell Sophia they want to go home. But you're finally fitting in, Sophia cries, and you're not embarrassing me anymore. I'm sorry if we talk too much and laugh too loudly for your fancy new friends, says Jade. Maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore. Ruby takes Jade's arm and together they rush out of the room. Don't worry about them, Hildegard told, tells Sophia. You're with us now. Sophia goes after her friends, but finds her mother instead. I was trying to help Jade and Ruby fit in, she explains, but I just made them feel bad. A true princess treats people with kindness, Sophia, Queen Miranda says gently. If someone is your friend, you should like them for who they are. Sophia knows her mother is right. She runs outside and finds her friends just as they are about to leave. I'm so sorry the way I acted, she said. Please let me make it up to you. We could have our own slumber party, just the three of us. Jade and Ruby thinks for a moment and finally agree to stay. Soon, Sophia and her friends are in her room having a great time. They laughed loudly, they talked a lot, they rolled pine cones in their hair, and perched tiaras on top. Meanwhile, Amber and her friends go back to the observatory. Finally, it's just us princesses, Amber says. This is a perfect party, Hildegard agrees with a yawn. There's a long silence. The princesses are really bored. You know, Cleo speaks up, Sophia's friends were kind of fun. A moment later, Amber and her friends knock on Sophia's door. Hmm, do you have room for a few more princesses? asked Amber. Sophia looks at Jade and Ruby. What do you think? The more the merrier, Ruby says with a smile. Sophia and Amber end up having the perfect sleepover with friends, old and new. Princess Lesson A true princess treats people with kindness.